Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to be doing a really quick video showing you guys a couple of things that you can get your best friend, your girlfriend, your sister, your mother even. Um, it's just things that have really worked out for me and things that I really like that I know others will enjoy. So let's just go ahead and get into the video. I don't want to make this too long just because I do have a couple of products. Now, keep in mind that I'm only going to be talking about jewelry, makeup, and perfume and nail polish and makeup <laughs> so i'm just going to start off first with perfume just because i feel like it is like the most gifted item um every single year i feel like makeup and perfume and jewelry is something that everyone gets gifted at some point in their lives so i picked out my top three favorite perfumes of all time not of all time, but of like something that I reach for the most just because I have a ton, like I have tons and tons of perfumes in my collection, but I just haven't used any for like a really, really long time except for these three, which I am obsessed with. So, first one, oh, if things don't fall off. Okay, so first thing is this Marc Jacobs Decadence. Now this came out last year and I feel like it has been so highly publicized. They're just people just love this scent just because it's a sweet but not overly sweet scent. I will put the notes in right here of just what this perfume has, but I feel like it is such a beautiful perfume. It's supposed to resemble a purse like this obviously um and then it just has like a really nice tassel this is the um 1.7 fluid ounces so i think this does retail for like about 120 dollars i will put the exact um price here and yeah i really like this um i use this a lot and uh i feel like it's great like it's just great to display on like your desk and like some hanging shelves. I really like this. I really like the perfume. I swear by this. Once again, this is Marc Jacobs Decadence. So that's that by Marc Jacobs. Another perfume that I have been loving and that everyone raves about, and I'm talking about everyone. Um, young people, middle-aged people, old people, like they talk about this perfume and sadly I only have the sample size. But this is Flower Bomb by Victor and Ralph, and I love this thing. I use this all the time, believe it or not, even though I'm like right here. Um, and I feel like it lasts longer for me just because I don't spray, and I just dab this, dab this on my finger, and then I just put it behind my ears right here on my collarbones. I put some on my wrist, and I just kind of just put it like wherever else I want to smell good. So this is Flower Bomb. I don't really know how to describe the scent. It is just like something, it is a very strong scent in terms that it will stay on your body for a really, really long time. And it just smells like flowers, but it's not like that like rosy flower scent. I really don't know how, how to describe this, but I feel like whenever someone wears this and like, and like just they walk by me, I could always tell that they're wearing Flower Bomb and it just smells so, so good. So this is pretty expensive. I believe the original price for like a small little bottle is over $100. But like I said, once again, I will leave an image here of like the actual bottle and then the price down here so that you can um, know. I will leave um, links down below for Macy's and Sephora unless they're both the same price and I'll just leave either or down below. So once again, a flower bomb by Victor and Rolf. Everyone loves this. Your grandma, your mom, your younger sister will like this. It's just something that everyone wears and everyone notices when someone is wearing it because it's that good. Okay, next little perfume that I have, it's another little sample size. This is the Juicy Juicy Couture um, perfume. I forgot which one this is. I think this is um, Love Juicy or Handle. I forgot what this is, but this is one of, um, it's not their original scent this is very sweet it does have like a little musk to it at the end um but i really like this 
if I'm not wearing either these two, I always reach for this. I feel like this is like my third choice just because either I'm wearing decadence or I'm wearing flat flower bomb. And then this would be like something that I just like quickly throw in my purse if I forget something or if I'm just like running out the door and like this is like the first thing I see. I don't mind picking this up and then just throwing it in my bag just because it's so small. It's very lightweight. But if you want the bigger one, it is um, pricier. I don't think it's more than $100. So this is more on the cheaper affordable side. So those are the perfumes that I really, really recommend if you're trying to give someone perfume. Now, next thing that I'm going to talk about is jewelry. Now, I'm really upset that I don't have the item that I wanted to show you guys, but um, a while ago, like last year, my boyfriend got me the uh, a um, Ivory Ella necklace, and it is just a very dainty ne necklace like this, which has like a cutout elephant, and I really like it just because it is more of a here, I gave you something nice. It's pretty. I know I know you're going to like it, but it was also good for a good cause. So every time you buy your products from Ivory um, Ella, they take some of that proceeds and then they um, put it towards donation to save the elephant. So I think that's really awesome. And if your girlfriend or your sister, your mom um, is the type of person who loves elephants and they're like crazy about them, I highly, highly suggest you go check out ivoryella.com. I will leave their link down below. And once again, I'll leave a picture here. They have different types of things. It's not only jewelry, they have chokers, they have like dainty necklaces, they have like bracelets. I think they even have rings, don't quote me on that, but they also have clothing. I know that my boyfriend also got me a Ivory Ella Bur Burgundy Fleece Vest and it is so comfortable, it's so warm, and I love that, especially just during the winter time. I feel like it's amazing, it keeps you warm, and you could just wear it underneath your coat and you will be extra warm. So they also have clothing, they have like t-shirts, they have sweatpants, they have shorts, they have running shorts, they have everything you can imagine, and it is a little bit pricey, higher than like the normal like clothing stores that you would go to, but it's also, they also do um, take some, some of those proceeds and then they give it to charity to save the elephants, like I said. So that's another thing that I really like. Another thing that is very, very popular, if my things don't keep on falling off my table, um, is this Pandora bracelet. Pandora has been around for a really long time and every time I go to the mall around this time there's always always a long line at the end it just comes in a little box like this you open it up it says Pandora and then it comes inside a little pouch and then you can get rose gold gold you can get silver white gold I have a I believe this is um, a silver one so this is a silver Pandora bracelet and they come in different sizes. So the way that you wear this is that there's a little clasp here. The good thing about this is that you can customize it to whichever way you want it to your liking. And then um, I have one here that says best friends. It's a best friend charm. I have one here with hearts all around it. And then I have a little Mickey Mouse one, a little silver Mickey Mouse um, pendant so you can get as many charms as you want you can e even just get them like the bracelet and then they can like buy charms on their own to their liking or you can just get them like one or two charms and then they can add on as they like or maybe every time you guys celebrate something you can like buy them a charm because you know uh, because you already know that they have a bracelet um, so I really like this I, like I said I'll leave prices down below or here like how much this one was but I do believe it retails for like a little bit over a hundred dollars depending on which set you get and how many charms you get but I think Pandora is like a classic it's what everyone wants it's what like brings like the most sales especially in jewelry just because it's nice to get jewelry for Christmas or for your birthday or for, for something because I feel like it really shows that you care especially if you get a bracelet like this you can customize it to their liking and then I feel like it would be a lot more thoughtful just because you know the kind of charms that they like so that is that next thing I'm going to move on to nail polishes if you have a person in your life who loves loves nail polishes then I feel like you can't go wrong with gifting them like a set of nail polish like the like these gifts don't have to be something that is like really really expensive it can be as simple as like getting them like a pack of like butter london nail polishes butter london is something that i recently discovered i don't have it on my nails now but 
It's a brand that I recently discovered a couple months ago and it's something that has lasted on my nails for a really really long time and by really long time I mean like about a week or a, like a little bit less just because nail polish on me is can get really iffy but I feel like Butter London is one of those brands that is very high quality it's very very like it feels very luxurious on your nails it doesn't really chip that easily it's very high quality and I feel like it's affordable these do retail for about $20 per bottle, so it can can get expensive depending on how many you buy. I do know that, that sometimes they come in like holiday sets, like a pack of three will be like 50, so you can kind of save money like that. But I feel like if you have a person in your life who swears by nail polishes, I feel like giving them Butter London would be great. But if you don't want to spend that much money, I feel like getting them Etsy nail polish is also great. Um, I remember when my boyfriend and I first like started going out or like talking, um, he gave me the um, whole fall Etsy um, nail polish line and I was so so happy just because Etsy is my original um, sworn by brand. That was something that I swore by. I always wore um, Essie, I have so many Essie nail polishes. I have probably about like over 20 at this point and I feel like Essie is a very very affordable brand. You can even find Essie at like some um, retail stores such as um, Lot Less, I know Big Lots, Big Lots, Lot Less. There are also like little like stores around the city here in New York that you can buy Essie for $2.99 or even $3.99 and it's a steal because these at the pharmacy retail for about eight or nine bucks and if you find a store that you can get them for like three bucks each then i feel like you should pick up a bunch and then just gift them to your friends um people who love nail polishes i feel like they would love this just because essie is a good brand it does last on my nails for quite a bit but if you can't splurge on butter london i really think that you should go for the alternative which is essie so that's what i really like Okay, moving on to makeup. I have a couple of makeup products that I really want to talk about. First thing is this OG, mine is even dirty, like it doesn't even close anymore. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Now, it just looks like this. Um, I, oh my gosh, this smells so much like cocoa powder. It is amazing. Any Too Faced palette that you get that looks like a chocolate bar, will smell like chocolate. I know that they just came out with their um, Sweet Peach palette, which is, oh my gosh, I believe that one does smell like peaches. Um, and they have so many palettes. If you just check out Sephora or Ulta or even Too Faced.com, you will see like that they have so many great things. They even have like travel size palettes, which is great. But I feel like these for $50, if you can get your hands on them at Sephora or anywhere else you can find Too Faced, I say go for it. Just because these are like very, very pigmented colors. I really like them. And especially like the original chocolate bar, which is this one, it has like all of the essential fall colors. And that's what I really, really like about it. Um, and it just smells like chocolate and it's just amazing. Next palette that I'm going to talk about is my Ride or Die. This is something that I debated on whether to get or not. This is the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this palette so much. It is an eyeshadow palette, but if you just look at this, this to me just screams fall, screams winter. It has so many great colors. The colors that it comes with are just very fall essential colors that anyone would love to get. This does retail for about $55 which I think is a great price, especially for like how many eyeshadows you get. And you even get um, a little, well not a little, you get a dual en en ended brush, which is great quality as well. It's super soft. It's not like a very cheap brush. So I really like this. And of course it does come with the mirror as well. So that's a plus. Unfortunately, this does not smell like chocolate. To me, this smells more of like clay, but these are very, very pigmented, as you can tell, like just by swatching it on my fingers. You're very pigmented, you're beautiful colors, and everyone has gone crazy about this. I know that at one point they sold out and it took forever to come back. So if you can get your hands on this, I say go for it just because I really like it and I feel like any makeup lover, if they don't have this already, then trust me, it's something that they want to have in their collection. 
Another thing that I'm going to talk about, and I really hope that people don't hate me for this, but it is the Kylie Jenner line. Um, this is the Kylie by Kylie Jenner makeup line. She did, if you didn't already know, she did come out with her own makeup line and it has been the talks forever since she came out with them. People have been raving about them. At first, it was a learning process for her. She did get some things wrong, but at the end, Everyone who has tried it or who I've seen on YouTube that have tried it, they all love it. This is in the shade Leo and look at that. Does this not scream like fall slash winter to you? Like this is Leo in her birthday collection. It was supposed to be limited edition but it's not anymore which I'm kind of pissed about just because that's the only reason why I got it because it was supposed to be limited edition. It does come with a lip liner if you choose. For it to come with the lip liner if not then these retail for about i believe 18 dollars and then with this i believe it retails for about i'm not really sure i can't actually tell you how much they both retail for but i will leave it down here and down at the bottom down down at the bottom bar as well so this is also a lip liner the only thing that i don't like about this is that you do have to sharpen it which i don't understand how you could sh sharpen this but it does come with a matching lip liner and it just looks like that. I think just this is amazing and it is good quality. I really like it and if they're like a Kardashian slash Jenner fan or if they want to be on more with like um, up to date with like makeup, then I feel like they'd want this just because it's just the hype right now. Okay, last thing that I want to talk about is this little right here, this little guy right here. This is a beauty blender. It's very, very small. It's $20 at Sephora, which you're like $20 for a little freaking sponge like this. I know, I know. But if you have a makeup lover in your life and they wear makeup all the time, especially liquid foundation, trust me, they need this in their lives if they don't have this already. And if they have like the real techniques like blending sponge, if they have like any other beauty sponge that's not a beauty blender trust me they want a beauty blender but they just don't want to spurge you $20 on it so if you can afford to get them a beauty blender it's $20 at Sephora I say go for it just because they're going to love this like once they try this they're going to realize why everyone raves about this this does grow about like double in size once you wet it which you are supposed to use it wet and I just think it's great especially to apply liquid foundation to apply like any cream products it is really great and now i understand what the hype of this little sponge is all about and nothing compares to this actually there are dupes there are other sponges that come close to this but nothing compares to the beauty blender trust me i give you my word in that so this completes my video i really hope that you guys enjoyed it please let me know in the comments down below what you are wanting for christmas or what you are going to get someone special in your life for Christmas, whether it's makeup, clothes, food, whatever it is, just let me know. I'm curious to know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my blog for more posts on fashion, food, makeup. It's all at justunderpetite.com. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at justunderpetite. And yeah, hope to guys to see you soon and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys. Mwah.